What is the unidentified winged titan in the Monarch Legacy of Monsters teaser trailer? Well, today we're going to take a look at two possible theories. One uh, being Kamazots and one being Shinomura. I myself did a live trailer reaction review discussion of the trailer and it's a, a thing of pure beauty. Absolutely staggeringly good in that trailer, uh, in that live discussion reaction, whatever you want to call it. I had the uh, hype train a little bit full pelt uh, and said, oh, maybe it's Batra. I'm aware Batra is a moth. I've done a, a breakdown actually of Batra uh, in the past. I'll leave it linked above. Now, could this be Kamazotes or Shinomura? The reason why I bring these two up, uh, because these are the two largest winged creatures in the MonsterVerse at the moment that we have revealed to us at the moment. And they're also the prevailing theories coming through in comments on that video. Now I'm going to go and sort of skip right to the end of this video right now with my conclusion. I actually think it's neither. Uh, I think there's the high potential that it could be an adaptation of Kamazots, but it's not directly because of what we know about Kamazots, which will sort of uh, rewind uh, and bring you some information on that. So Shinomura, absolutely not. Uh, I highly, highly doubt it is Shinomura. Why? Well, Shinomura is actually made up of multiple uh, organisms. It's essentially a colony, a parasitic colony, uh, which makes up a gigantic kaiju. Uh, and the thing about Shinomura, as you can see from these images, it's just not remotely the same in design. Now, if they're going to adapt that for the big screen, they'd have to bring it a little bit closer to this. I mean, it, yeah, both Titans are clearly huge. They are winged. But the winged creature in the teaser trailer isn't insect-like. It has horns, for starters. It's not insect-like. And it doesn't have blue segmented armor like Shinomura does. Uh, it does have the membranous wings, though, that Shinomura does, which is, I guess, why... Some people are leaning to it looking a little bit like that. But also, another thing to discredit the Shinomura theory is Shinomura had six glowing white eyes. This doesn't, from what I can see, definitely does not have six glowing white eyes. Uh, and in terms of the exo mandibles, well, this winged creature seemingly has a normal jaw. Now let's look at Kamazotes. Kamazotes I think it's probably the, the, the most interesting potential kaiju here. Now, Kamazotes is a giant bat-like titan. That is what it is, Titanus Kamazotes. It has a prehensile tail, which you can sort of see something similar to that with a creature as it flies overhead. Similar, not exactly the same. This is why I'm leaning on it potentially being, uh, you know, I guess kind of an adaptation of this. Because... Kamazotes appeared in Kingdom Kong, which was a graphic novel by Legendary. I think they do, they do great work with their graphic novels, quite frankly. And Kamazotes, the literal meaning of it is Death Bat, which is a Mayan bat god associated with night, death, and sacrifice, which is why it's throwing a lot of people off and why it's not a direct adaptation to screen. Because one of Kamazotes' primary weaknesses is sunlight. Uh, it has evolved to essentially live in total darkness. It has a mega, mega distaste for sunlight to the point that Kamazotes, in its appearance in the comic, refused to emerge on Skull Island. But this is the other reason why I think it's potentially Kamazotes because this is very clearly located on Skull Island. Uh, but Kamazotes would refuse to emerge on Skull Island until after he's created artificial darkness. Uh, living in perpetual darkness also gave Kamazotes nearly completely blind. But that could be potentially why this creature in the trailer is ripping its way through a, uh, you know, a, a sort of a giant building per se. It's been awoken and is ripping its way through in anger. This is the the potential here is that it may have it may be Kamazotes and may have been awoken, uh, and that's why it's on, well, essentially, uh, a massive death uh, flight now. The other reason why I think that there's the potential for it to be Kamazotes, Kamazotes had a sonic screech. 
So Kamazotes could emit a high-pitched supersonic screech, powerful enough to disorient the senses of other titans like Kong. Uh, when he first emerged from Skull Island's vile vortex, his screech is seemingly heard across the island. So I think that there's the potential for it to be that. Potential. Uh, but not 100%. The reason why I think this is going to be an adaptation is simply because it is clearly just located on Skull Island. This is a Skull Island based series, at least from what we've seen on the trailer. I know that they're going elsewhere as well. Uh, but those callbacks, that is a Skull Island location. I firmly believe that. And the look, anyway, the design of Camazotes. Camazotes is stated to be a grey coloured bat like creature with demonic horns. This creature clearly had horns, as well as large, tattered wings covered in long, sharp spikes. You can kind of see some of that. You can kind of see the long, sharp spikes. They don't look necessarily tattered, though. Uh, these wings could be folded and used as forelimbs. We see that in the trailer. Uh, and while Camazotes is standing or walking, his entire body is covered in angular plate-like armour. We don't necessarily see that, but it doesn't look exactly like that's not covering this titan that we see. Now, another reason why this may not be Camazotes, because uh, I couldn't get a massively clear shot of it, his left horn was broken in the appearance in Kingdom Kong. Unless this is going to be set before or after that, because then it could show us exactly how it had its horn broken, potentially. So, the other element is that it had a black fur. This one didn't really have it. But I think it would be odd, I think personally it would be odd for Legendary to create another bat-like titan rather than just use this one. And uh, this is a pretty, a, a pretty bloody good one, to be honest. Um, so, it would be a shame... But obviously the light is an issue, but it could just be woken up and disturbed. And then obviously later in the trailer, it could be going about creating total darkness. We don't know. This could be before uh, it's had uh, its previous appearance in Kingdom Kong, which means that yes, it could have its horn broken uh, in this trailer. Uh, or in this series, should I say. So two possible theories. Camazotes are an adaptation of it, or a completely new titan. I highly doubt it's Shinomura, but what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear any and all of your thoughts. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.